What's good YouTube Justo Farm here? Welcome to the next part of the Justo Farm Coffee Lake PC build. And this part we're gonna be showing you guys how to install the Kraken X62 200 millimeter liquid cooler. Pretty much the radiator, we're gonna show you guys how to install the radiator over here. We're gonna show you guys the fan setup. So pretty much stay tuned for this video guys. Check it out. All right guys, so the first step before we install anything is, and before we install any fans or the radiator is, we're gonna have to be installing the bracket which is going to be half of the mounting bracket, which is going to be going on the back of the motherboard. And so just to show you guys what, where we're going to be installing our fans right now, our fans we're planning to be installing on the inside here. Both of them are going to go right here, one and two. And the radiator we're trying to get, have installed on the outside right here. So let me just quickly show you guys how that would be going. So the radiator would be mounting right here on this side right here and this would be going through over there onto the processor so yeah so that's how we pretty much decided how we're going to be setting it all up because that's the way airflow we want we have air direction coming in here and we have all the hot air rising through here and also don't forget we're going to have fan we also have a fan in the power supply power supply as well thank you and there's gonna be another fan, or two fans actually, in the graphic card. So the way we're trying to work it out is scientifically as much as we can possibly do it with hot air rising and having as much suction. Because we're trying to make all hot air escape the PC because, especially with the glass, tempered glass on both sides. So the only room for air circulation we really have, or removal is the sides. Because the front is acrylic and the back only has this one part over here. So the main, main reason why we're going with this is removing the hot air as quick as possible instead of pushing as much cold air into the computer, guys, and just filling it up because we don't have much ventilation outputage for the sense of the glass and stuff. But yeah, guys, so let me show you guys how to install the Intel bracket on the back of the motherboard so we can get installing the processor cooling, guys. So first thing is, we're gonna have to turn this around, so let me just move everything aside and uh, we'll turn this around, guys. Alright, guys, so I put everything aside. I got my Intel bracket. As you guys can see, this is the Intel bracket. It's not the AMD one. The AMD that is included, it's metal. You wanna show that to him real quickly? It's right there. Right here. Yeah. This is the AMD bracket, guys. As you guys can see, it says AMD, and this one's metal. kind of hard to really make noise but that's the size difference if you guys are wondering the difference for AMD installation or Intel so for if you guys are installing your Kraken x62 on any AMDs this is the one you guys are going to be using but if it's Intel this is the one guys for your motherboard so for me I'm going to be using the Intel so you know, let's pack that up and so first thing is first let's turn this back is it focused so to yeah, start, perfect. And so I have it turned this way because that's the way it's shown. And you want to pretty much have all four of these little pins that are sticking out click into these four over here. So these are potentially just going to be the screw holes or the mounting hardware for that liquid cooler to be sitting on the processor, guys. So this will just push in snugly. You just want to be careful and don't apply too much pressure. You have to move a little plastic around. And simple as that guys, it's clicked in. It just sits in, it's perfectly sitting in normally. It's shaped around the back processor. Everything is like still visible and it's not really sticking out or anything. And it fit with any force or hesitation. So that's what you guys are looking for guys. So now when you guys return it to the front, you can see that right there, we have a four screw holes available for the NZXT Kraken to sit on top of and cool the processor right here guys. Awesome. So yeah, the next step right now, I believe we're going to be installing, are we going to be installing the fans? Well, <clears throat> we're going to put the radiator and the thing in it. Okay, so we're going to be installing the radiator. So most likely guys, I'm going to be putting the radiator right here and I'm going to be pulling the wires through here. and having it screwed in right there. So it's so, gonna be the fans, radiator, everything. So let's show you guys the next step, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna show them. All right, guys, so the next step is we gotta install these four mini screws that came in. They have threads on both sides. So we pretty much gotta screw these in to the opposite 
to the front of the side, the bracket. So they were just pretty much screwing right here. I just gotta hold the other side and then just reverse that them in. So you don't mess that back part up. And this is pretty much gonna hold that bracket in to the motherboard. So pretty much you guys wanna do it diagonally. Oh, that one dropped. Got it. So you pretty much wanna reverse thread a little bit and then screw it in. And so this is pretty much gonna make uh, it make the bracket so it can hold the NZXT processor onto the motherboard. The cooler. Yeah, the cooler onto the processor. And so I just gotta keep tightening these all up. This is the last one. Okay, and I have that tightened up, and that's it guys. Now the next step will be putting the fans on and the cooler, and then we would be installing onto this with via thumb screws, guys. All right guys, so we installed the pegs into there. So now we gotta get the radiator and the main thing in through there. So for the radiator and the screws to actually stand off, which we're gonna put the radiator right over here, the fans have to be installed as well. It's a two piece setup. Um, the fans have to be installed with the radiator. It's not like it will just hold. So the main thing is we gotta put the radiator through. So let me just slide this piece through gently. And then set it right over here. And so that way, now I can screw in my fans guys that would be on this position or whichever way I'd be setting it up. They would be sitting in over here and they would stack up together. And I would just, right now I'm just showing you guys, I would show, put my wiring facing backwards and that would be my radiator cooling right there. And so that way we're going to be using the, the longer screws that come in there which is going to go through both this and into that. It's going to be a long screw that's going to be screwing in via that. Or the other way we can also do is put the radiator on the top or inside and put the fan that way. But the way this thermal tape view 31 case is designed, we're going with this setup guys. So we're just going to quickly screw this all in and we'll show you guys how we did it. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, we got the first one installed. We screwed it in. We have to screw it in with these long bolts with the washer. I had to remove my bottom uh, thermal tape fan that was at the bottom for the hard drives, I have to remove that so I can screw these ones in. And so pretty much the way I'm sending my wiring in, I'm just sending it through this way, through the back. And so same thing with this one, it's being sent through the back. So it's just being folded like so. And then I just pull it and then it's going to the back. And so this should be sitting on top and that's how it should be guys. And then I'll just be lining this up, putting that through there and lining up my hole and just trying to get it to fit which is always a little difficult and yeah guys so I'll show you guys how it looks once I line that all up and I just fit up the wires guys so I put all four screws in I just hand threaded them reverse thread and then just make sure I didn't ruin any of the threads and so they're all in and then now I'm just making sure I'm not putting too much pressure on the bottom wire that's running for the small fan, so I'm just gonna screw this one in now. And it's not too tight, and I can still move this a little bit. And then I'll just push this one down to just make sure like a nice even rectangle box look, not put too much gap in here. As well as this one, I'm just Doing this one a little bit as well, and then this one right here. And you guys don't want to tighten it too much because, as you guys can see, especially for this one, there's a little cut right there. That's for the wire to go through, and they do tend to crack if you guys tighten them too much over time, especially if they don't have a shock ones. But this one does have all rubber in here, which is nice. 
it gets nice and absorbed. If you guys can see, you can press it a little bit. But yeah, now the radiator is all wired up and it's all ready to go. And now the next step would be installing this processor or this cooler onto that processor right there, guys. So we'll show you guys that next. All right, guys. So we installed the fans. We got everything installed. The radiator is all hooked up. As you guys can see, it's all hooked up. Everything's all running. So now pretty much the next step is installing this thing right here, the cool NZXT thing, onto that processor right there. So we're going to add some thermal compound. This right here is some Arctic. Uh, focus real quickly. Arctic silver. Some Arctic silver. Like this is some pretty good stuff, what they say. And so we're going to be installing this right over there onto that. So my brother's going to add a little dime size amount or however they usually like to add it, guys. So yeah, usually they say uh, a BB size in the center. But I'm going to add a little bit more liberal than a BB. Mm -hmm. Just so it pushes out nicely to the side. And yeah. you can just... Spread it nicely a little bit out to the sides up and down if you want, right? Yep. Pretty much the compression of the cooler uh -huh. is going to spread all over the CPU. And if you see any excess around the sides, you just clean it up. It's not an issue. Yeah. So I got a good size amount. And I still have a lot of left over. As you guys can see, that's the good size amount we're talking about right there. It's better to clean up a little bit on yep. the edges than not have um, enough. Yeah, definitely for sure. So that right there is what we're going to be installing, or that dime size amount right there. It's going to go on top of, or under this right here, this part right here. And you guys seen that little Optimus Prime Iron Man type of thing. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to be that. So let me show you guys that right now. All right, guys. So now, just pretty much same thing. We're gonna pull that plastic off right there. My brother's running the ESD bracelet. And we pull the plastic off, and let me just show the camera how that piece looks right there. Focus real quickly. As you guys can see, it's beautiful. So that's the bottom of that right there. There's a couple screws and all that stuff, as you guys can see. Yep. So that center right there is gonna be cooling the processor. And those screws right there are those little ends right there as you guys can see that's going to be fitting your thing that's that's going to go through the peg yeah it's versatile install. like that for amd and intel and he's going to be tightening it in with these thumb screw things right here part of the strut towers so let's see and put it in guys so i'm just going to line it up and even if i move it around a little bit it'll be okay for um the spread yeah so as you guys can see, he's putting that all in. So it lined up already, as simple as that. And now I just gotta evenly press um, all sides with this. With um, this. So I'm just gonna, it's gonna be hard to see, but I'm just gonna. He's evenly just, tightening that part down right there. It's a little bit hard to see. I'm trying to get the best camera angle, guys. Okay, I got it in a little bit. So those thumb screws right there, let me just show them real quickly. So we're gonna work an X pattern, right? Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna try getting underneath the hole. This is the tricky one over here under the holes. So I'm just going backwards and then I'll go forwards. Just to prevent any thread damage. So yeah, he's just screwing that in guys. And that's easy as that to pretty much install the NZXT creaking guys, X62. We've got the hoses all everything. We went with that. We've got the ladders all lined up properly for the casing. Because we have the clear tempered glass casing on the case. So we want to be able to see everything nicely. Also, what else is there? It's going to take a lot of screwing because I'm not uh, screwing too much. Mm -hmm. But there's definitely a lot of thread to screw in. And the back bracket has some slack so it's going to be nice and snug when it's tight. 
Yeah. So you want to make sure it's tight, hand tight. Connect all cables before turning on, guys. <laughs> As you guys can see, he's tightening it all in equally, making sure it's not going to shake. It's getting pretty snug. That's the radiator right there, guys. We have that all set up. Put the screws in. We have it running through the front of the case. The hose is running down there. Through there onto the processor. Liquid cooling it. The back of the case right there, guys. It's a pretty cool build, guys. For sure, right? Mm -hmm. I love it. Definitely. We didn't really spend too much on it, right? Like, we could have went 1080 Ti, double 1080s, right? Well, there were the 1080 And Ti the real cool liquid out. cooling, actually bending tubes and stuff, but this is more than a farmer would need, guys. Right? Well, when we upgrade. Well, when we upgrade down the road. We'll have more videos on that, too. Yeah. But for now, hopefully this teaches you guys a lot how to build a PC. It's very nice and tight, I'd say. <laughs> Hand tight. So you just made sure that's all tightened down. But then it's still some areas. And here we can use a star if you want to. I think this gets a better grip. The thumb grip on it? Thumb grip is way It's more better. natural, right? Yeah, and then you know you're not over tightening than a screwdriver. Perfect. So just get it hand tight. There's no more movement of the no. back oh, bracket. It's nice and snug. You guys can see that right there. It's all nice and snugly installed. Focus for you guys. You guys got the four screws installed. It looks badass, guys. The Republic of Gamers motherboard. It's Maximus X Hero. It's everything on this motherboard case is all black and gray except for this little blue right here. But that doesn't really matter. But this just looks so cool, guys. I love the hoses. There's not really too much kink to it so far for the setup. Um, but one thing for sure is, oh well, is that it, right? Yeah, we can. We have the RAM in the next video, I guess. Oh wow, guys. So that's it, guys. We pretty much installed it. So that's it for this video. We installed that. The next video, we're going to have to be installing the RAM or also our SATA hard drive bay. We're going to have to install our fan back. Yep. That one that's sitting right there. And so we got this all over. We're not going to be adding no zip ties or anything to hold this. We're letting them stay separate so each line can stay cool individually since there's space and free flowing space in here. Um, also, there's a RAM that's going to go in there. And also, one more cool thing that I'm really excited about is we're not putting a graphic card back there, guys. We are not putting a graphic card back there. We're putting a graphic card right here. Yeah, excuse that dog here right here. Oh, that's Coco's fault. We're going to have P the PCI Express cable running from back there to over here. I know if some of you guys are going to be like, oh, does that make your graphic card slower? But uh, I'm not really care like that. A millisecond you know? difference. Well, probably a millisecond difference if really you're running like some that. serious games. But we're not running any games. At all on this PC, and I know you guys are gonna be like, you guys are crazy, like you're not running no games. Why? What are you gaming motherboard? For video editing, guys, 4K, 8K movies are me up soon. I want to be able to process videos. I want to be able to render quick and easy, so I can actually go outside, farm faster, and not have to focus so much on videos. And it's future proof. Future proof, definitely. And my brother loves computers too. He's a tech person himself, IT. So computers benefit him as well. So. Yeah, guys, make sure you guys check out the next video when we're going to show you guys the next step in this Just a Farm Coffee Lake PC build 2018, guys. So, it was easy as that to install that uh, liquid cooler, guys. Take care.